Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now this has come to my attention whereby I need to pre-caution you guys when you're doing a flashback BIOS on your motherboard itself. As some of the motherboards have this uh, bio flashback button. As you can see here, right, this is actually coming from Gigabyte. This is actually the Aorus Master. You have the uh, Q flash button over here to do the BIOS flashback. And for the AS rock itself, right, this is actually a Tai Chi board. You have this uh, flashback button. Now it happened that two of my colleagues have actually purchased the um, Gigabyte Extreme and they were running on the uh, older processor which is actually the 3950X. Now due to the recent pricing, right, they have actually gotten themselves, uh, I mean the pricing have dropped, they have gotten uh, themselves the uh, 5950X. However, their board is not able to run, they will need to actually flash the BIOS itself. And I do not understand why do, do they not go through the traditional method as in like to flash the BIOS through the motherboard in the UEFI with a thumb drive. Instead, probably a challenge, they have actually made use of the uh, Q flash, which is actually the flashback function. And my colleagues have told me that they have taken instruction from YouTube, from other motherboard brands, from AS ASUS Tech, from ASRock, and from MSI, but not from Gigabyte. So they say it's actually the same process, and that's where the problem comes. So ended up, they are not able to actually boot up even with their older processor. They will have to actually bring in their motherboard um, to the distributor to do a RMA and to loan a board just to run their processor. Now I'll take you to the dashboard and to explain to you what is the proper way to actually do the flashback. Now, let me just show you how to actually properly do the flashback. First of all, you need to take note on what model motherboard you're using because you will need to actually download the uh, latest BIOS. And when you're downloading, right, make sure you read the instructions over here. Some is with prerequisite. It's like you will need to flash a certain certain version of BIOS before you can actually flash to the latest BIOS. So take note on this. Now, for example, here is in fact a Tai Chi board. I've actually downloaded the uh, BIOS and for my gigabyte board right which i'm actually using the aorus master now take note on the revision on gigabyte itself there are two different versions i should say on the aorus master or some other uh, model for this right i'm actually using a reversion 1.1 1 .1, uh, motherboard so i would just download the uh, bios from here and to make sure to see if there's any pre-requisition in the description over here if no, you can actually proceed on with the uh, download. Now, once you have actually done right, as I mentioned, please read the manual. From the Tai Chi board itself, right, it did instruct me on what to do, like renaming the uh, BIOS from the original download file name to creative.rom, and the instructions as in like to plug the 24 pin power from the PSU to the uh, motherboard itself, and that's all is re required. Now, my guess for my two colleagues, right, as they have actually watched the YouTube um, instructions from other motherboard brands, they have missed out one very, very important point, whereby on the flashback on the uh, Gigabyte itself, right, known as Q-Flash, you need to plug in not only the main power connector, which is actually the 24 pin coming from the PSU, you will need to plug in the eight pin EPS connector, which is actually a 12 volt power connector. So they have actually missed out this step that causes them to backfire on their motherboard when they do the Q flash or should I say flashback. Now this part is actually to prepare your thumb drive. So make sure you have actually plugged in your thumb drive and it's version 2.0. Now your thumb drive will need to be on 32, FAT32. So do a right click and check the property itself. Make sure that it's actually FAT32. If not, kindly format this uh, drive. Then set this at FAT32 and do a format. Once done, right, as you can see, I've actually extracted the uh, file from the Tai Chi itself, the BIOS. Just copy this file over to your thumb drive. And on your thumb drive itself, once it's actually completed, change this to creative room. As you can see over here, right, all instructions I've actually taken from the uh, Tai Chi board. You have actually instructed that 
make sure that the USB drive is FAT32 and to change your BIOS name that you have actually downloaded to Creative Room. So I will change this to Creative Room and this will be ready for you to do your flash on the actual board itself. So once you have changed this right, you're ready to actually go and to do the flash back on your physical motherboard itself. Now, as for Gigabyte itself, right, you will need to actually copy this file. Same thing, your USB thumb drive need to be FAT32. And to copy the uh, latest BIOS into the thumb drive, now of course you have actually to delete this if you are flashing a Gigabyte board instead of a AS Rock board. So from here again, I will take in instructions from the website, which is this. It has mentioned that same thing, you need to be on FAT32 and to change the file name to Gigabyte Bin. So just change the name over here to Gigabyte Bin. Now to do a BIOS flashback on this Tai Chi board itself, right, as mentioned, read the uh, manual, then all you need is actually your power supply and the motherboard itself. You do not need the processor, you do not need the RAMs. All you need is this two and the thumb drive. So right now, this power supply is actually connected and is power up. I've actually not switched on the uh, PSU. First thing you need to do is to connect the uh, 24 pin onto the motherboard. Once this is securely done, turn on your PSU. So you can see the lights on, right? Then time to actually plug your USB thumb drive. Next will be the actual flashing whereby you can see that I've actually plugged the uh, USB on the flash socket or should I say the USB socket itself. Now there's this flashback button whereby I press and hold for 3 seconds. Then you let go, let it flash. Now during this process itself, right, do not touch the motherboard, do not turn off anything, just let it flash. The flashing of the um, BIOS itself, right, will go off. And once that, that is done, right, it's completed. Now I'd like to emphasize on this, while it's flashing, do not touch the motherboard or disconnect the uh, power itself, let it flash. Now as you can see from here, the flash have completed. The flashing went off, so you can actually remove your thumb drive. And I would advise you to actually power off the uh, PSU. Once that's done, right, power on again. And I would clear the CMOS. Hold on the CMOS button for 3 seconds release and you're done. Now on the Gigabyte Aorus Master itself right is slightly different. You will need to actually connect not only the 24 pin um, connector, you will need to plug the EPS 8 pin connector to your motherboard itself. Once that's done right, you can now turn on the uh, power supply and as you can see this is actually turned on. Next to plug in this the uh, firmware or should I say the BIOS to the uh, flashback USB socket once this is done right click on the Q flash for 3 seconds This will in turn turn on the uh, PSU itself and it will start to flash. Do not touch the motherboard again. Leave everything to the board to flash. Once it's done, right, the flashing will stop. Now as you can see, the flashing has stopped and the PSU has actually powered down. So what I'll do in fact is to actually pull out the um, USB connection then hold on to the uh, CMOS button here for 3 seconds, let go and you're done. Now of course once you have actually done all the flashback right, it's time to actually test your components. So I'm just going to turn on my X570 AS Rock Tai Chi. So 
So as you can see, it booted up. Not a problem. Yeah, let me just check. Yep, this is actually on the latest version BIOS on my Taiji. Now to test my Gigabyte Aorus Master. Just going to turn on the switch. Right, it's booting up. Now, as I've actually clear CMOS on both uh, motherboard, the uh, AS Rock Tai Chi and this Gigabyte Aorus, so you should actually having this signal here saying that it's resetted. Now, just to check on the version itself. Yep, that's right. The version is actually up to date. So that's actually how you do the uh, BIOS flashback on either brand of the bots. Just make sure that you read your motherboard manual properly before you do this. There you have it. I've actually shown you how to do the uh, BIOS flashback on the two motherboards that I'm showing. And one thing based on experience itself, right? I've actually tried other bots too that has this function. Now, all the bots have the same characteristics as in um, the same behavior. They do not flash the uh, BIOS if your thumb drive is actually not version 2.0. So make sure that you make use of a version 2.0 thumb drive that has the capacity of 4 to 8 gigabyte. Anything below it, as you can see here, this is actually a version 1 and these two are actually version 3 which holds up to 30, 16 to 32 gig. It will not work. Now, having said so, right, do remember to actually spread the news to others who is actually having this problem and make sure to tell them to read the uh, motherboard manual properly and to execute them accordingly. Now, for those of you who are actually new to my channel, welcome. If you like my content, do remember to subscribe and to hit on the notification bell button. Thank you. Take care. See you. Goodbye.